Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and I'm not 100% sure I understand, but this is a bitmap, and he's trying to do it in a vector, and he's got the colors, and I don't know if he wants it to look exactly like that, or he, he mentioned the transparency tool, so the one I'm doing it for, uh, please let me know if I'm on the right track. But what I would suggest... You've got this, these loops that are broken up. So, and he even mentioned the smart fill tool. So we're gonna grab and grab the eyedropper and take a sample of that and fill that in. We're gonna go and grab the eyedropper tool. We're gonna take a sample of that. And we're gonna fill it in. We're gonna go to the eyedropper tool and we're gonna take the eyedropper tool and sample and get that color of that gold. Now, you could grab that color with the smart fill tool, even though it's a bitmap, and put it in that spot, or, and I don't know if that's what he wants to do, or what we can do is we can take a duplicate of this, hit the plus key on the keyboard, plus key on the keyboard, and make a couple of these, and then blend these as many times as you want, but it's not gonna really matter and then you got a center color that's kind of like overlapping of the two. Go to object, break, blend apart. Go to object, ungroup. And now we can take that color or that color, take the eyedropper tool, get the eyedropper tool. So now you've got a blend of like both of them. Actually hit white. And you've got a blend of both of them. Kind of looks like a transparency, like the two overlapping, and then just do the exact same thing for the yellow. So we're gonna take a copy of that, hit the plus key. I'm hoping this is what he is under, if I understand him right. Blend those two. Go up to object, break, blend apart, go up to object, ungroup, and grab that one of these mineral colors, which other one you want. Go get the eyedropper tool, and you could you know, instead of using the smart fill tool, you could use the eyedropper tool and sample that color, and then put it in that bucket. And then all you'd have to do is take your right click and take your lines away. And it, it to me, uh, that'd be better than a transparency because that's a mixture of those two colors. Anyway, I'm hoping that's what he's wanting. Thank you for watching. Hope that helped.